truck and that's about it. This car is not an option. No, it's not giving. We're not gonna drive anything else from cheap. We're just gonna head down to the next station. This car right here is the Acura TLX Aspect. So this is like the middle trim and this is the like sportier version of the car. I'm just gonna take you guys in the back real quick. We did take this car out before and absolutely loved it. Just take it out again because this is definitely like in our top four cars. Now we're gonna go for a spin. Oh, it has a nice little sunroof. Um, I wish it was the panoramic, but I guess can't be chooses. It actually feels good to be in this car again. <laughs> center console I'm obsessed with it you give me motivation make my life vacation when we are together I surrender give you all my money Lexus ISF sport in the steel gray color really nice outside take that for a little spin
help me find you You're a blessing, reminiscing Of the time when I found myself guessing Feel the beat tonight, something good inside Set you free, you can lose all track of time Come on, come on, have a conversation Don't treat me like a stranger You give me more this is how the car will look but just in gray so the added on package that we got well that we may get <laughs> is gonna be all of this everywhere you see chrome it's gonna be black yeah so like down there and on the sides is usually like a chrome exterior everything's gonna be blacked out Oh, um, so this is the trunk. It does have it. This is the trunk space. And I'll just hop in the back. Oh, uh, sure. So the back is also super spacious when you're in it. I like how you can control the AC and stuff in the back here as well. very sleek so like all of this is going to be in this nice i think they call it piano black uh interior versus just it all just having this interior here and then a few other things like navigation and such so we're just gonna go around and we literally have test drove this car i think about four times now so we definitely know how it drives how we like it it feels like it's still in sport mode W 2020 uh, 2 Series Grand Coupe 228i X Drive. <laughs> so this is the overview of the car. Obsessed with how the so it's a Grand Coupe, so I'm obsessed with how the there's no like rimming for the mirror. It's just like very coupe style. Yeah, close that. Can you open up the trunk? A, yeah, that's that's really good trunk space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice long turn out the sunroof. Like this LED, it'll be LED, right? Trimming at night or something, or it's just like a little carbon fiber or something. Trimming on that side as well. And I like this thing here. Like, you know how usually like it's a, this thing is like a behind the glass. This thing here is the actual uh, whatever you call this touch screen, which is nice. Shifting, and then you can also do this pad here to go around on the screen. This is driving really nice. This is, you want sport? This will give you said sport. <laughs> this is, the more I drive it, the more cool it feels like for some reason. Like to start it up, you can't be heavy footed with this car at all. You literally have to ease on everything. Ease on the gas, ease off the gas, ease on the brake, ease off the brake. And it'll do what you want to do. But if you're not doing that, you literally feel like the car is like jerking, jerking, jerking. I like 
like this, like when you're driving, as you can see, like the navigation pops up here, which is cool. And the navigation also is here. So that's nice that I can like see it here or look over. So fine, I can get you off my mind Ooh girl, nah nah Ooh girl, nah nah Baby girl, don't need to flex This is the rhythm and you do all the rest Ooh girl Option was to be able to get the seats in red for that as well, which I like. Yeah. We didn't have that option for any of the other cars. So, rate that on a scale of like one to ten. Seven. I gave it a nine for sure. This is the next one, the Lexus IS F Sport. It's a nice car. I, the only thing I like is how it looks. That's the only thing you like about the car? How it looks? Oh, yeah. I like the driving. And this is it. Number one car? No. Now I'm going to number one car number one. I didn't like it from the get go. <laughs> I never liked the car. Taking the car out the first time, in 10 minutes I was like, uh uh, get me on the car. I didn't even drive the car because I didn't like the car. Eight. Eight? No. I gave it a five. It was never going to be an option for me. <laughs> I gave it a five. So it's the Audi Q3. I really like that car. So. What yeah, do you like, like about nice. it? How it drives, mm -hmm. comfortable, mm -hmm. has everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same, the car drives extremely smooth. So when we originally went into the dealership, we was telling them that we wanted the middle trim, which is the aggressive. <coughs> and, <coughs> and then Katie was telling us that like they're super hard to get in right now because there's a shortage with chips and just all type of stuff. So she was trying to, her and her manager was trying to get us to go for the base model, the comfort with, with a package add-on to make it feel like the progressive. And so all that time we had only test drive the progressive. So we went back in to test drive whatever it was they were trying to sell us and we didn't like it at all, right? Well, I mean, was it was all right, right, but it wasn't, it wasn't given. Yeah, the, so that completely ruled out. So the progressive. Uh, yeah, I really like that car. Car nine as well. Nine and a half? Okay, okay. And what's the last one? The BMW. This, why is this name so long? BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe 228i X Drive. All the cars that we test, they have they have a mode where you can put it in like sport mode, comfort mode, all these types of modes. Me driving in regular comfort mode in this BMW, it felt like sport. Like it's it's a very very sporty car. It was kind of like weird to drive at first because I just prefer like a smooth car. But the more I dr drive drove it, the more I was like. It was given. It was given what it was supposed to be given. And the inside, it's super nice. The outside is nice. It's extremely sporty. It's, it's a nice car, I'm not gonna lie. 9.5. I give that one a 9 as well. Alright, so that's our final thoughts on this car tour. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give, yeah. us, give us a like and a comment. And we'll see you in the next one.